AMS is a Dallas-based full-service production company that produces original programming for the Reels Cable Network and others. These are shows we all know and love, like Murder Made Me Famous, The Price of Fame, and Scandal Made Me Famous. We're here at AMS Studios to learn more with Kim Clemens, producer and showrunner extraordinaire. Well, welcome, Kim. Thanks for this interview. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk first about AMS. Okay. That's where all this production happens. Uh, what's the history of AMS? Um, AMS is a full-service production company. Um, Andy Streitfeld started it out of the spare bedroom in his mom's house 37 years ago. It has grown into this really fun, wonderful business that does corporate videos and original programming. We've done many, many series for many networks, but for reals, we've done three seasons of Scandal Made Me Famous, three seasons of The Price of Fame, and seven seasons of Murder Made Me Famous. That's a lot of production. How many That's shows do you do a month? Um, we shoot four, three episodes a month. Three weeks of pre-pro, of heavy, hardcore pre-pro, scouting, tech scouts, wardrobe fittings, castings, for three weeks, and then they shoot, and then they jump right back in the next Monday. Nobody must sleep. Nobody sleeps. <laughs> Nobody sleeps. They are exhausted, and it's long days, and our crews are amazing. These are all very, you know, sort of sensitive shows about murders and scandals. How, how do you find the subject matter? They're all about celebrities, so we don't have to dig too far. The more famous, the better for the price of fame and for murder. And we'll pitch it to our um, EP at the network, and then he'll pick. He'll, like, um, go down the list of maybe 10 or 15 and decide kind of a ratio. Do we need enough women? Do we have enough men? Do we have too many serial killers? Do we, you know, it's like, it gets really morbid. So when you interview these people, um, they're the real thing. They're the ones oh, yeah. that have experienced the oh, yeah. crime. I yes. mean, that's got to be very emotional. We tell the families, we really want to share who your daughter was and what she was doing and what her life was about and did she have kids and what did she like. and so um, Empathetic part of the story. Yeah, and I think a lot of people just don't want their family members to be forgotten. And I think the reason people like to watch this show, and I'm, pers I'm a personal fan fanatic, you know, it's because you're just so, uh, like a cautionary tale, like, okay, we don't want this to happen to ourselves. Yeah. The interpersonal relationships to the killer is always very fascinating. That's what they really want is this personal connection. This could happen to me. If I date a boyfriend, what are the red flags? So we have field producers who are looking for um, family members and friends of the killers or the victims months ahead of time before we even start shooting the recreations. Let's talk about those because there's a huge part of, the, of each episode that the, mm -hmm. it's all recreations. The recreations are written by a separate person mm -hmm. who gets those interviews from the field and takes all of that information and says, okay, these are the 45 best scenes that we really need to uh, shoot okay. and then they'll write those. And all of the crew is local and everything's shot here locally. Yep. Everything's like 95% of the time. Exactly. All in Dallas Fort Worth. Yep, unless it's a rare instance and we need, I mean shoot, we shot um, Jack the Ripper in Corsicana and you would not know that it wasn't <laughs> London in 18 whatever. We've done probably every country you can imagine here and you'd never know it was Fort Worth. That's awesome. You know. And then you would do all the post-production here, all the sweetening, all the music composition, everything. It's everything. all done here at AMS. Everything. Color correction, the rough cuts, the fine cuts that go to the network, um, sound design, literally everything. And then it goes out as a finished product. Do you have a fun story about a production? You must. We were shooting on a kind of a notorious street in Dallas, and we were shooting prostitutes, and our serial killer actor was going to pick her up and then kill her. So while our actress is waiting on the corner looking like a prostitute, um, before our, act, our, our director had a chance to yell, action, this actress could not stand on the corner for five minutes without real Johns pulling up, <laughs> uh, propositioning her. And she's, you know, and we're waving them off like, dude, can you come back tomorrow? Because this is a shoot. What's next on the horizon for AMS? So we're really developing, looking for characters, looking for um, great ideas, and pitching to networks. So uh, we have some things in the fire, and. Um, but nothing that I can talk about yet. Well, we're looking forward to hearing it whenever it happens. It's really been so fun interviewing you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This has been fun.